Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lauren. In today's video, we have an unboxing and it is from Celine. This is my first ever purchase from Celine. Um, I'm hiding my address, but you can see I have not opened it yet. I ordered this last Thursday and it came on Monday, so really quick shipping. Um, it's currently Wednesday, so I am waiting to open this up, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's open this up together now. I don't wanna show you my address, so hopefully that works. Here's what the box looks like inside, so you can tell it's a small leather good, and let's take a, whoop. This is not, <laughs> see this is why I like real reactions, because I thought this was like paper stuffing so i just reached to grab it it's a pillow it's like that's extra celine i like that so my cat would love this she's over there sleeping on the windowsill but she would love this it's like it's like a little pillow that's crazy anyway okay wasn't expecting that there we go and then here we go so that's the box there everything is packaged so nicely I love it. So there's three different envelopes. I don't know what each one is for. This one, but the envelopes are even like fancy. They say Celine there. This one's probably my receipt. Okay, yeah, so this one is my receipt in that envelope. And then in this envelope, it is just a card. Thank you for shopping on Celine.com. We hope you enjoy your purchase and look forward to seeing you again. That's nice. Well, thank you. And then this one must be like the care. Yes. Yeah, so this one looks like it's the little care packet. So here we go. It's a little small box. Let's open this up together. Okay. Full disclosure. This is not a bag. Oh, wait, what's this? There's like another care book. There's like two care packages. I don't know what's going on. This is not a bag, but I kind of bought it because I was like, oh, I kind of like it if it is gonna be a bag. So it's just this, I don't know if this is real leather. I'll have to look at it, but it just says Celine Paris right there. And then you can see, I'll open this up after. It is a crossbody, like you can wear it like a crossbody, but these are sunglasses. But this is the case. This is the case it came in. I thought this is so cute. Like you could just wear this. Like I wanna know if my cell phone fits in there. I guess we'll find out after. But these sunglasses I've been seeing all over Instagram, all over TikTok, and they've been sold out and they've been really hard to find. They did come available on the Canada website, so I kind of just like snatched it up really quickly. Um, let me get the actual name for you, what these are called, because these are called the Triumph, or Triumph, I don't know, Metal 01 sunglasses, and this is in the color gold green. This is very much different from my style. I typically only wear like the sunglasses that I brought them over actually. Like these are my Saint Laurent ones. Saint Laurent, I don't know. You guys are gonna get mad at me for butchering it, but um, I typically only wear like cat eye sunglasses. So this has been my staple this year and I really love it. Um, and then prior to that, I don't know where my Balenciagas are that I bought last year, but they also are you know, a cat eye black acetate. My Amazon ones are all acetate. I've never had a pair of metal sunglasses and I am so scared, but I really want these to work. So we're gonna try it on together. Very different. These are very different. I don't know if they suit my face. I'm freaking out a little bit, but I need to know. I feel like I need to take a picture right now and I need to send it to my friend and be like, what do we think about these? I will say that the fit of these are amazing. Like, they are so comfortable, and because there is a nose pad, like, this is always the test because I have no nose bridge. It did not move. What do we think of these, though? Do these suit me? Okay, let me take a picture and send it to my friend really quickly. 
Okay, I'm back. My friend was in line at Playland with her kids, but <laughs> she gave me the thumbs up. She said it was cute. So anyway, I was taking a few pictures. I think I like it. Like it is definitely out of my comfort zone because I'm so used to just wearing, you know, the constant kind of like, like I mentioned, like the black sort of cat eye acetates or sunglasses so this is very different but i did want to show you with my hair tied back too because i always feel like that's also really important so all right and then here is with my hair tied back which i also think is really important whenever you're trying sunglasses always try it on with hair tied back as well as hair down like how you would typically wear it but um, I kind of like them. Actually, I really like them. They're growing on me. They are definitely, like, they're different. You know what I mean? They are, like I already mentioned, out of my comfort zone, but I think I kind of like it. I think it looks cool. So, I would love to know your opinions. Um, I think the return period is, like, a couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm feeling like I like these. They, like I mentioned before, they're so comfortable. They don't even move. So as I mentioned before that I got mine in the green and gold version, I think that's also something a little bit different. I've never had sunglasses with the green lenses. They've always been like either like the really dark black or I have a pair from Amazon that are kind of the tortoise shell so they have the lighter brown, but this is definitely different. On the face, I feel like you can't really tell that it looks greenish, but when you see it kind of like this, I feel like um, then you can, but um, the gold, so the back, as you can kind of see there, it just has the little um, Celine kind of logo there. I think this is the actual Triumph or Triumph um, logo that they have, and it's all gold. And then the um, back part, I don't know what this is called on the glasses. Um, I know this is called the arm, but I don't know what this part is called. That goes around the ear is sort of that tortoise shell type of um, color there. So they're very cool. Um, the nose pads even say Celine on the inside, but that's really it. So um, really you wouldn't be able to tell what brand they were until you see the side there, but I think that's really, I, I don't know, I like them. So I'm very, I'm excited. And then it also came with the little um, cleaning cloth. And then moving on to this now. So. This was kind of the reason why I bought it because when I saw people show this, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. This is a totally different like case for your phones or for your phones, for your sunglasses. Cause I'm so used to sort of the hard shell cases or like the leather sort of soft cases, I guess you would say. Um, but this one here, I don't know if it's real leather. So it turns out that it is made out of real leather and um, people are selling them. I saw one on Poshmark. There's one here on the Real Real that was sold for $237. On the Celine site, they actually have a sunglass pouch in the exact same style. And this one is canvas and lambskin. Um, and it's going for 590 Canadian just for the pouch, which is essentially what you get when you buy the sunglasses. But let me open this up for you really quickly. So it definitely needs to be kind of straightened out as you can see here, but this is what it looks like. So it's just like a tiny little crossbody, which I think is so cute. And it hits high up because you know, I like a crossbody that hits high up. So you can carry your sunglasses in it. Oops, those are the wrong ones. Just like that. And then it just says, like I said before, it just says Celine in brown and it closes like that. There's nothing on the back there. So it's the iPhone 14 Pro. Does it fit? It might not. Oh, it does, but I think it's because I have my case on. Let's just see. Let's take my case off because we want to check this out. So there we go. My case is off. It does narrow down. So I think that's what's actually kind of inhibiting it from fitting. Oh, okay. So no, when my case is off my phone, or if you had, I guess, a thinner case than this one here, this is my like leather one from case to five. Um, it fits, but as well, you could also just put in some credit cards, your keys or whatever, and just wear this. If you are running some errands, I just think this is so cute. 
And this is also like a little cell phone pouch. You know how those are coming out and people are wearing them? Like this is the perfect little cell phone pouch, right? Like look at that. Fits perfectly. Um, but if you're like me and you typically carry your cell phone in your back pocket or you're hanging on to it or something like that, then you could probably, well, not even probably, you could definitely fit in um, I wonder if my Loewe, let me get some things actually before I talk, let me get some things and show you what might fit in here. I ran and grabbed a couple of things. This is my Loewe card holder. I don't think that this is going to fit if we're being honest. It's almost the same size, but if you had a smaller card holder, it might. So let's see. Um, no, it doesn't. It's a bit too thick as you can kind of see there, but um, if I have a couple of cards, I have a couple cards here, like my Costco cards. Um, yeah, okay, well obviously those fit in, we know that. Let's see, I have my car key here, as well as a lip gloss. Let's put that in. So we have, like I said, a couple of cards. You could put your, um, you know, your credit card and your license in there, I guess, your driver's license. And then I put in a uh, lip gloss as well as my um, car key. And then I think that, yeah, so, I mean, that's perfect. It fits in just like that. So I guess if you were just running errands and you wanted a really tiny little bag, this would work and you could put your phone. So let's put my phone back in. Again, I don't have a case. Let's put a couple of cards in. Let's put my car key in. And let's see if the lip gloss fits. This is kind of a chubby lip gloss, but I feel like it would fit. So it does fit all of those things. So you could use this if you wanted to as like a little grab and go kind of pouch, which I think is nice. Like, I like the fact that they gave this instead of the regular um, sunglass holder. And if you still wanted to, like you definitely could still put your sunglasses in there and use it. It's soft on the inside. It's kind of like that micro suede. It's soft on the inside there, so it's not gonna damage your sunglasses. And you could still use it as a sunglass holder in your handbag too. Um, I don't think this comes off, or you could. You could. Um, unknot this here on either side and then you could take it off and just use it like a regular um, sunglass holder you don't need to have this attached to it before i forget let me give you the price of these so they were 620 canadian which is really pricey um, i've never spent that much on a pair of sunglasses um, prior to getting my balenciaga ones last year and then these ones this year i i mean i didn't really spend a lot of sunglasses but now I know why. Like, my ones from Amazon, while I do love them and I do wear them, like, the quality is not as good, obviously, as these ones. Um, and I, I have been wearing these ones, like I mentioned, pretty consistently. I can't remember how much these were. I bought these from Louisa Via Roma. So sometimes you can find, um, like, promos or um, you can even go through Rakuten and get money back. But... These ones I couldn't find anywhere other than the Celine website. It just, it's a very different vibe from these ones. This one I kind of feel like a cool girl, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm just not trying and I look cool. <laughs> these ones, well these ones too, I don't know what I'm even saying. Nothing I say is making sense now because these ones also give like just ignore everything I've just said. I just want to know your thoughts on the sunglasses and um, I will see you in my next video. Thank you again for all the love and the support. I will link everything down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!